After a tumultuous year, there is comfort to be found when we pause to read, pray, and reflect over the course of the Advent season in which believers eagerly anticipate the celebration of Christ's birth. The first Sunday of Advent gives us the opportunity to center our thoughts on hope. It's a beautiful chance to remember the hope God offers to our lost and dying world and that he's given us through Jesus. Galatians 4, 4 through 8 says, But when the time, right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to law, so that he could adopt us as his very own children. And because we are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, prompting us to call out, Abba, Father. Now you are no longer a slave, but God's own child. And since you are his child, God has made you his heir. Paul, the writer of Galatians, articulates so perfectly the great hope we celebrate at Christmas. Without God's intervention, we were all slaves, bound up by our sinful nature and hopelessly headed to the grave. Because of God's great love for us, he came down and rescued humanity by sending his son as a sacrifice for our sin, so we could be free from the chains of sin and become fully part of God's glorious eternal family. As we prepare our hearts to celebrate Jesus' arrival as a gift to all humanity, let's stir up in our own hearts and homes a sense of anticipation. Over this Advent, we pray that hope would rise up in our spirits in a tangible and life-giving way. Let us pray. O oh God of hope, in a world that often falls into dis despair and where hope is often sought in foolish places, let us find the encouragement and strength we need in the presence of the Christ, whose birth we will soon celebrate, whose death brings us into proper relationship with you, and whose spirit is alive within our hearts. Amen. Amen. 